identities. Today we are discussing problems in page number 93. Look at the third question. Find out the larger product of each pair below without actual multiplication. We are discussing the first question. We have to find out the larger pair out of these two. What does it mean? We are going to use the identity. We have to use the suitable identity to find out the larger pair. Okay. Now 25 into 75 can be written as 25 can be written as 50 minus 25. 50 minus 25 gives you 25. And what about 75? 75 can be written as 50 plus 25. Do you understand? So this is 25 into 75. Now how can you write 26 into 74 using the number 50? We can write 26 into 74 is equal to 50 minus 24 into 50 plus 24. Now you can understand these two are of the form A minus B into A plus B. We have studied the identity A minus B into A plus B is equal to A square minus B square. Isn't it? So the answer for the first one is we can write 50 minus 25 into 50 plus 25 as 50 square minus 25 square. And this is equal to 50 minus 24 into 50 plus 24. So we can write it as 50 square minus 24 square. Now we can easily find out the larger product out of these two is going to be 50 square minus 24 square. Isn't it? So we can write 26 into 74 is larger than 25 into 75. Is it clear? Look at the second part of the question. 76 into 24 and 74 into 26. Now, how can you write 76? 76 can be written as 50 plus 26. And also, 24 can be written as 50 minus 26. So, I can write 76 into 24 is equal to 50 plus 26. 50 plus 26 gives you 76. And what about 24? We can write it as 50 minus 26. Now, this is of the form A plus B into A minus B which gives you A square minus B square. So, we get 50 square minus 26 square. Take the next one. Next product is 74 into 26. We can write 74 as 50 plus 24. So we get 50 plus 24 into 50 minus 24 gives you 26. Again this is of the form A plus B into A minus B which gives you A square. That is 50 square minus 24 square. Now looking at these two answers we can easily understand 50 square minus 24 square is always greater than 50 square minus 26 square. So we can write 74 into 26 is greater than 76 into 24. Look at the third part of the question. Third part 10.6 into 9.4 10.4 into 9.6. We have to find the larger product. Now we can write 10.6 into 9.4 can be written as 10.6 is 10 plus 0 0.6 
and 9.4 can be written as 10 minus 0 0.6. From this you can understand this is of the form A plus B into A minus B which again gives you A square minus B square. So you get 10 square minus 0 0.6 the whole square. Similarly we can write 10.4 into 9.6 as 10 plus 0 0.4 into 10 minus 0 0.4 which is equal to 10 square minus 0 0.4 the whole square. Now by looking at these two answers you can understand 10 square minus 0 0.4 the whole square value will be always greater than 10 square minus 0 0.6 the whole square. So we can write 10.4 4 into 9.6 greater than 10.6 into 9.4. Is it clear to you children? We are going to the fourth question. Look at the fourth question. Compute the following differences. First part of the question. 125 into 75 minus 126 into 74. We are going to use our idea A plus B into A minus B. So here 125 can be written as 100 plus 25. And you can write 75 as 100 minus 25. From this we are going to subtract 126. 126 can be written as 100 plus 26 and 74 can be written as 100 minus 26. Okay children, now we know this is of the form A plus B into A minus B which is equal to A square minus B square. So we get 100 square minus 25 square. Now write this minus sign and 100 plus 26 into 100 minus 26 is equal to 100 square minus 26 square. Now let us remove the minus sign. We will get 100 square minus 25 square minus 100 square minus of minus gives you plus 26 square. You can cancel 100 square with this 100 square. So what remains? You get 26 square. Answer 676 minus 25 square. 625. When you subtract you get 6 minus 5 1 7 minus 2 5. So the answer is 51. Is it clear? Second question. 124 into 76 minus 126 into 74. Here again we use the same idea. 124 can be written as 100 plus 24. And 76 can be written as 100 minus 24. Is it clear children? Now write this minus sign. Minus of. We are going to write 126 as 100 plus 26. So you get 100 plus 26 into 74 can be written as 100 minus 26. This is of the form A plus B into A minus B which gives you A square. That is 100 square minus 24 square minus 100 plus 26 into 100 minus 26 gives you 100 square minus 26 square. Now let us remove the minus sign. We get 100 square minus 24 square minus 100 square minus of minus become plus. So you get plus 26 square. 
minus 100 square cancels with plus 100 square. We know 26 square is 676 minus 24 square is 576. We get 100 to be the answer. Let us discuss the remaining problems in our next video children. Thank you.